Hello Craft Warehouse followers. Today we are playing with tie-dye. So I have my tie-dye kit here um, and this one that I'm playing with today can do up to five shirts roughly um, and I do already have my shirt nice and soaked so this little kit here is going to come with the um, soda ash for those shirts to soak in. It's going to come with the gloves, rubber bands, and then three dyes. So these just have powder in them and you will have to put warm water and fill up to the top line and just shake them, make sure nothing's settled at the bottom. So they do have you soak your shirt for 20 minutes and this has been soaking in here for 20 minutes already. So I'm gonna go ahead, lift it up and we are gonna wring out any of the extra water. Now with this, it does not um, say to rinse out this, the water in here or any of the soda ash. You want to keep it in your shirt. But you do want to get anything extra that you can out. Because we don't want any of that extra water in there. Okay, so just a couple more spins of the shirt just to wring it out all the way. Okay, and then I can say this and go ahead and make another shirt, but I'm just going to set this aside for now. Okay, you want to have a tray that you can end up or a plastic down that you can end up putting the inks down. But for right now, I'm just going to, I'm going to do that nice traditional kind of spin method. And I kind of just grabbed in a spot that I liked on my shirt. And I'm just going to spin... until it's all the way in there. So again, all I did was pinch a piece of fabric. I wanna make sure I'm grabbing both the bottom and top. And then I spun it until it all came together. And then we're gonna come across with the rubber bands. So I'm gonna make it a uh, cross in here or an X and then we'll split those into half I'm gonna make sure I'm getting all my little ends here nice and tucked in there gonna come across with another rubber band Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with one more. So I should have a total of eight sections in between the rubber bands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's just for my design I'm working on today. Now I'm gonna take the little lids off of all the dies. Nice thing about this kit is like blue cap goes with the blue die, red cap goes with the red die. So it'll come off. And then the yellow. Okay. So now I can go ahead and put my color just right on there. I'm gonna do a red here. And I'm gonna get everything in that square. Nice and saturated. And then I think I'm gonna go right here with it as well. Okay, just color. Getting all the white I see all colored. Okay. And then I could possibly do one more, but we're gonna see, I'm gonna kinda put some more colors down. Okay. 
come in with some yellow here. I'm going to just color it all. Come in with some yellow here. I'm going to come in with some blues. Okay. Also, think about your color wheel. What two colors combined it are going to make other colors. So yellow makes green. Yellow and blue makes green. Purple or blue and red make purple. I'm going to lift this up, get this a little bit. Okay. Then what do we want to come in with? I think I'm going to make this one fully kind of green. So let's come in with blue. Come in with that yellow here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm okay if it's not fully green. And I might extend this red a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna do this all red. There's gonna be a big section of red. I don't really care. It's all about, you guys, it's all about how whatever is calling to you, what you think you're going to like. And then we're going to flip it over. I have red in these two sections, so I'm going to color that all in. Okay, getting all that white nice and red. And then we're going to do the sky red. Okay. There's some spots that need a little bit more, but I'm okay with it. Looking like that right now. So let's come in with blue. Mix it all up in there. And then we're going to go with blue right here. Again, you guys, just do whatever you are liking and what you want to see. We're gonna see if this will kind of turn orange on us by putting a little yellow in there. Gonna keep putting some blue right here. This guy's kind of already a flopping around, so I'm gonna lift it up and kind of get inside some of those crevices. And then I know this guy's yellow, so we're gonna do some yellow here. And you guys don't even have to do this by sections. You could just easily just squirt it all the way across. It just really comes down to, again, your preference and what you like. Okay, so spraying this all down. And then this, we're going to do that green kind of color. Coming in with the yellow, making it green. Okay. Coming 
come in a few more spots with some blue real quick. And then I want to make sure I'm getting this like split spots really well. So let's flip this over again. Just put a little yellow here. And then we're gonna cover this guy with yellow here too. Maybe kind of lighten that red up a little bit. Okay, now you guys, I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. I like the way it looks. If I wanted to, I could also kind of wiggle my um, point of my bottle into some of the crevices. Um, but that's just kind of come down to a preference if I want more white showing or not. But we're going to leave it as is. And we need to let this soak for 12 to 24 hours. So what you're going to do is grab a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag and just go ahead put your shirt in there. So just put your shirt in there, zip it up. And we will unravel it in 24 hours and wash it all out and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, it has been 24 hours and we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the bag and unravel it before we go and rinse it with some cold water. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Again, I didn't get in all the little crevices like you can because I do want there to be a decent amount of white showing. So let's see. Oh my goodness. How fun is this, you guys? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out um, with cold water. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry it. And we'll come back and see what this looks like. All right, you guys. Look at this shirt. It is all washed. I'm going to come in up on this color a little bit. You can really see where that red and that blue got blended to a nice purple. Um, I could have maybe done a little bit more of that, but I did want to flip this over real quick. This was actually the second side that I tie dyed. Um, I definitely didn't get as much color on there as I should have, but it still looks really beautiful. And I still got some really nice um, blending of colors as well. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see what you are creating with tie dye. There are so many different patterns out there and so many different things to dye. So please share with us. Let us know what you're doing. All right, you guys, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.